Okay, we're gonna start with the bottom half on the watercolor board. So you should have two spots right here. This is gonna be a little different than if we were in the class. We're gonna take some water, set it right here. And we're gonna create, um, get some paint and put it over into your palette. I gave all my palettes out, so I don't think I have any here. And get my paint ready. It's gonna be red. I'm gonna rinse that out. I'm gonna wet, I don't, I, yeah, I do think you did this uh, tape right here, but make sure this bottom section is in half. The top half, you're gonna wet it a little bit, so it's gonna be a wet wash. You're then gonna apply the paint. I want it to be at least a medium tone. This looks a little light, so I probably used a little too much water. If you hadn't figured out yet, it's a very transparent um, paint, so it like really becomes transparent with the more water that you use. All right, and then hopefully you have some salt somewhere in your house. Just take a little bit of table salt and just put it on there and don't touch it till tomorrow. And then you can brush it off. Now here's a couple that were done. This is one that was done after it dried. I didn't put that too close to your face. Here's one that wasn't, it's not so subtle. It's a little softer. They probably put it a lot more of it. What it does absorbs all the paint that's sitting there and makes this cool effect. Here's somebody that did um, a purple and red together and then put the salt on there. That made a really cool effect with that. So that's what we're doing for that one. For the next one, really easy. I can find my little, I um, thought I had a white crayon somewhere up here. Maybe I don't have one. Oh, here it is. So take a crayon. Hopefully you can find a white one, but it may not have a white one in your crayon box that you have at home. And just do some kind of shape. This is where we normally would have learned how to use mascoid, um, but we're just gonna use a wax resist and show how what a cool feature it makes. So I just drew like a plant form on there and I'm probably gonna change my color. I don't have to do a green, but I'm gonna lift a green out of my thing. I'll use this side over here. It's gonna be dark because there's still a little red in my brush. Carried some green here. And then I'm gonna brush over top of this where I put the wax resist. And it, you can see the design underneath. You could use any color crayon, yellow, any kind, but that's what you're doing, a wax resist and the salt, and don't mess with the salt, let it sit there and absorb. You don't have to have an abundance of salt. Just shake a little bit out of your salt shaker. Some yellowish green up in here. And that's what you do for these two. And we'll cut it off and then I'll do the next one on another um, video. But these are the two that go on the bottom left. Okay.